Hey, I'm Pops, and welcome. I hope you're enjoying Saturday Morning Cartoons, Batman Animated Series. This is episode 25. That's right. Can you believe we've gotten this far already? It's the Cape and Cow Conspiracy. And in some ways, I thought this would probably end up being uh, combined with the next episode. But reality is sometimes things happen in reality. We're here. It really is an interesting uh, angle on Batman and problem solving and his vulnerability and things like that. Because on the surface, it seems very silly that he could kind of get duped and end up in this situation uh, by kind of a low level criminal. But at the same time, it also shows how quick he can adapt and how good he is at um, pulling things together, you know, to, to come out on top at the end of the day. So. It starts off with a guy. His name is McWhorter. He's basically at like a miniature golf course and he's out there. He's got like a letter with all these instructions walking around, ends up walking into a sand pit, which turns out to be quicksand. And in order to uh, be free, he has to give up where these bear bonds are. Right. So, he's, so he has to kind of give everything up. And then this is what comes out through the conversation when Gordon arrives, talks to Batman about it. And then um, his name is Wormwood. He's the interrogator. Now, uh, Baron Josek, he's like an associate of Wormwood. Um, obviously, he's a foreign guy. I think he's supposed to be played up as like Czechoslovakian or Russian or something like that. And there's an exposition here that talks about that this Wormwood guy likes to use death traps, how he kind of like gets his information. Like you, you're, you're put in a situation where it's life or death. You can't really get out. Then um, whenever the Baron is out attending a dinner, Batman gets him, right? Batman nabs him up. And it's, it's kind of fun because it just shows Batman's not... I, I really don't think that the live actions have really caught that essence of Batman. Like, he can get in a room and get out of a room. He can do what he needs to do. He's dangerous with his interrogation without it becoming, like, you know, actually, like, murdering people. I, I think there's something very, very special here with the Batman mythos where he's just basically being dangled from a billboard and gets all the information out, and then that's it, right? Now, when we see Baron, Baron's really angry and calls Wormwood and he says, I want Batman's cape and cowl. That's that's the that's the operation. That's the plot of the episode is the fact that Wormwood now has been tasked with capturing Batman and forcing him to turn over his cape and cowl, which, of, co of course, at this point will reveal his identity, um, put other people in harm's way, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, it refuses, uh, Wormwood refuses at first, but then... Uh, Wormwood ultimately does agree. And then we get the the introduction of the bat signal, which is great because they have a little line about, oh, you got a new toy, right? It lights up the skies. Batman arrives. Uh, Gordon's giving him the letter about, uh, it's like a, it's like a riddle, right? We end up basically like a Riddler moment. And Batman, of course, knows exactly where to go. Heads over there. Of course, it's a trap. And then um, he has a woman that is tied to a railroad track. The train's coming. If Batman won't give up his cape and cow, then he won't be able to uh, save the woman. Now, Batman, of course, figures out a way to squeeze through the opening. He saves the woman, and but Wormwood gets away, right? And then there has to be another message, right? And then the message this time is about a wax museum. And he's basically, Batman is in another trap. And you see now, Batman has got a dose of how Wormwood works. So when this happens, you feel like, okay, he's better prepared. Well, how prepared is he? He ends up in the situation with these wax figures, there's a panel in a roof. It starts heating up the room. Everything starts to get very dangerous. And he's kind of like trapped in there through this with this only through a skylight that's basically been sealed off. And he, he's going to um, get stuck in like molten wax. So now he can't use his utility belt. And the light um, is shattered. And there's like toxic gas that's coming in the room. Where one says, listen, I'm going to shut the gas off. You're trapped. You can't use your belt. I want your cape and cowl. And so. Batman surrenders, right? This is this is so good because you I, I remember as a kid, this is one that I remember. I remember being in college, I remember watching this one, and I thought to myself, holy crap, he's taking off his cape and cow. Holy cow. And then I realized obviously it's so good because he has a bandana on. So he it's still only his mouth that's still exposed. He has a, a bandana on underneath it. And it's kind of funny because even though Batman escapes, Wormwood's gone. Now Wormwood meets Baron. He's going to turn over the cape and cow. But he says, before I do anything, I want to know where these bearer bonds are. Wormwood tells him. And then the Baron laughs and says, well, uh, uh, he's laughing. And Wormwood's like, well, what are you going to do with the cape and cow? Like, what are you going to do? And he says, 
I'm going to wear them. And as he turns around, it's revealed to be Batman. The silhouette changes as a, as a last second. And you see that Joseph was basically being impersonated by Batman. And Batman, uh, you know, goes after Wormwood, catches him without a problem. There's a short little fight. And basically, um, Batman saves him. You know, we're going we're gonna to take everybody in custody. He's not going to let anybody die. And then he leaves a clue and a gift for Batman, for uh, Wormwood in, in prison and cell. And it's the cape and the cow. And it really, really is so fun. I, like I said, this is one of those that I wouldn't say this is top tier, but when you have a moment, first of all, it's first time we get the bat signal, which is always cool. And then when you have something as dramatic as the removal of the cape and cow, it's something that will stick with you. It's something you'll remember. And I have to admit that was the main reason why I wanted to give it its own little standalone time because that part I thought was so clever and interesting and hasn't really been explored a whole lot. Like I said, it is a little cheeky in the sense that Batman's getting basically duped by a regular guy. He really shouldn't be this clever or this formidable, but at the same time, Batman is adapting and he's always, he's not only one step ahead. He's, he's Mr. 40 chess by definition. That's Batman. So that's my take on this. I'd love to see what you guys think. I'm going to continue to move on. Another one that's coming up next is actually a really, really good one. So next week we'll be doing uh, Perchance to Dream, which is actually probably one of the better episodes. I remember it. I think a lot about it uh, from time to time. So I'm interested to see what your guys' thoughts are. But as we wrap up Saturday morning cartoons, give you some OG commercials to go out with. You guys have been blowing me up with different comments and thoughts and that thing like that. I found some more uh, commercials out there. So we're going to put those in the end of this. Thank you so much for watching. I am Pops. Chocolatiest tasting cereal. Kids say that's my cocoa pebbles. Then I'm yours. But, but, but I'm already married. <laughs> Take my pebbles, just not me. Mmm, more chocolatey taste than all the others. <laughs> Barney, my pebbles. <laughs> Gotta make an arrow escape. Post cocoa pebbles cereal, part of this complete breakfast. Your happy meal's almost done, Alex. What's that noise? Uh, new machine. Better turn it off. Aha! Uh -huh. New machines always have a few kinks to get out. Out, you guys! Sorry, Ronald. We're just doing our job. I understand. <laughs> what you doing for summer vacation? I'm gonna check out Disneyland. Wanna come? Yeah! Now at McDonald's, you can experience Disneyland with the Disneyland Adventures Happy Meal. Eight toys to collect, one with each Happy Meal you buy. What a vacation! And we didn't even have to pack. The Nabisco thing. The Nabisco thing comes on Nabisco things. Cool cookies like Chips Ahoy. Hey, hey, and Oreo. I repeat, and Oreo. You'll find the Nabisco thing on Nabisco things. More to come. There's a special kind of love. No one can match. You'll find it in the Cabbage Patch. Cabbage Patch Kids, a special kind of love. Meet Sarah Ann. I just adopted her. She needs you. Oh, welcome to the family, Sarah Ann. Cabbage Patch Kids are each different as can be. Cabbage Patch Kids, a special kind of love. Cabbage Patch Kids come with a birth certificate and application for adoption, and they're each sold separately. Thank you.